Hello, my name is Manalina. Welcome to another Wilder Dream tutorial. Today we are going to make a LED that is controlled by the web. What we need is a Raspberry Pi, a breadboard, one LED, one resistor and two jumper wires. The LED has two legs. The longer one is the plus. We connect that to one of the digital pins of the Raspberry Pi. The shorter one is the minus. We connect it to the resistor and then, using the jumper wire, to the ground pin of the Raspberry Pi. In order to see the layout of the pins, we go to Wilder Dreams page, Tutorials. On the left side, we will see pins layout for the Raspberry Pi. Here we count the pins. Today we will use the fifth pin. As for the code, we go and create a new project. We name it, let's say, WebLED and make sure it is in visual programming. After we click Submit, we can enter the project. Here we have the blocks. The one that is already on the screen we don't need, so we can delete. To test the LED, we go to Peripherals, choose LED and drag the block that says Set on the LED. We type 5 instead of 0 because we chose the fifth pin. Now we run the project and after it loads, the LED should be on. Now that the light is on, we can see how we can turn it off. We just have to click off inside the block and then run again the project. When the LED is off, we can exit the window and as for the web part, we will need a web address. This has four parts. The first one is set, HTTP. Next, we will need the IP address of our Raspberry Pi. We find that by going to Wildrin, searching for our board, click Shell, and here we can ask for the IP address. We do that by simply typing IP ADDR show and press enter. The IP address that we need is going to be here. We just copy it, go back to our tab, paste it. The next part is the port that is set, column 5000. Next we will need the root. The root will be set in our program, so we go back to the code and search for web server. Here we choose the block that says web server get root. We write here the root, which will start with a slash and then let's say on, because we want our LED to be on. We can also show a text for the user. LED is now on. We check on in the block for the LED, go back to web server, search for the Warrun web server block and put it at the end of the code. Then we start again the project. After it loads, we should see the message that says running. In our tab, we now write the root, which is slash on. Click enter. We can see the message and also we can see that the LED is on. If we want to set it off, we just stop the project. We duplicate the block. Make sure run web server is at the end of the code. We change the root to off. 
we can also change the message so it doesn't confuse the user. And check off for the lab. Run again the project. Wait a few moments to load. When we go back to our tab, we replace the root by the new one that we created, which is off. Enter, and now we can see that the message changed and the LED is now off. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please subscribe to our channel.